This is the Great Eastern Cutlery number no. six Pemberton, and uh, boy, I was very excited to see when this came out. I've been looking for a super duper small uh, watch pocket sized, legitimately watch pocket sized knife to come out from GEC uh, for a while, and I missed the last couple. I think the 25 came out two years ago, it was very small, and I missed those. So when I saw this come on the scene, a single blade. Uh, which is what I wanted with a Warncliffe, which is always my favorite, I jumped on it. And uh, the first one I saw was uh, was in the Blue Bone, Jigged Blue Bone, and it looks beautiful. And uh, so I, I ran to the web, and the only thing that was left were these muslin micarta uh, versions, titty versions, and I love it. I'm a, such a sucker for micarta, period, but... Um, Something about this muslin, it reminds me of a raw canvas. You know, once you stretch it, you're getting ready to paint. So it, it sort of speaks of potential to me, like raw canvas speaks of potential. This uh, thing came much sharper than uh, than my other GECs have come. It's like a little scalpel. And uh, the action is so gratifying. I don't know if you can hear that on my super sophisticated audio recording, but this is, has just exquisite walk and talk. And uh, it's open, it's solidly open. And when it closes to the half stop, it does that little, does that little wily Coyote thing where it goes Ah, this is such an awesome little knife. And when I say little, I mean, I'm going to say it again. This this is little. And now what I really wanted a little slip joint for is that uh, in my pocket, when I carry a slip joint, which is pretty much daily, uh, I'll have, uh, I'll either have it in a little leather pouch or something. I need to keep it vertical in my pocket is what I'm getting at. I don't generally just throw a knife without a clip in my pocket because eventually, say I did that with this ZT920, Eventually, it's going to start to ride sideways in my pocket. Here's my leg, and the knife will start to ride perpendicular, and then, of course, that just drives me absolutely bonkers. And that, it happens with, um, with slip joints all the time, and I don't always want to have a leather pouch in my pocket. I generally tend to like, uh, I generally tend like, I generally tend to not like lots of stuff in my pockets. So the point is, I get a tiny knife like this, if it slides down to the bottom of my pocket and starts to ride horizontally, it's so small, it doesn't matter. It won't drive me nuts. But of course, for that comfort, uh, I lose capability because this is a damn small knife. But it's not like I won't have two other or three other knives on me at the time. This is just what I will pull out to cut the string on an old lady's package or something like that got this beautiful coke bottle shaped handle that would actually be really nice on a bowie knife imagine that is a big handle and a cross guard there and a big blade there it's a it's just a beautiful little design I love the bolsters on both ends and uh, as far as construction I got to say this one feels the best probably out of all of my GECs I can always feel a little transition not that it matters, not that it affects performance or even appreciation for me anyway. But this one just, man, it just matches up perfectly. Another cool thing, you look down in the well of these knives. This has a little schmutz in there just from, from carrying, not cleaning it. But the wells, uh, the, the metal down there is usually finished almost as nicely as out here. It just shows you that they're really spending time with these things. Look at the brass liners. Looks beautiful. Great little tertiary knife. Let me uh, let me do some size comparisons. I'll show you. Let's see. Here, I'll put it first with my other most recent Great Eastern Cutlery purchase. This is my smallest Great Eastern Cutlery, and this is my largest Great Eastern Cutlery knife. This is the uh, number 21 Bull Buster, excuse me, sod, which is a sod buster pattern knife. American sort of peasant farmer knife kind of thing. And it's big and beautiful and it also has a gorgeous micarta handle. But I'll save that for another video. 
And you'll notice a little leather fob, which means it's mine. I'm going to keep it. Look, there's another beautiful internal well of a Great Eastern Cutlery knife. So there it is <clears throat> with that knife. And here it is with a peanut, case peanut. Here it is with the very popular case swayback jack. I love this knife, man. I love this knife, man. The Swayback Jack is a great, great knife. Here it is with the uh, number 14. Also a recent small Great Eastern Cutlery knife. And two more. Let's see. Let's try this one. Here it is with a Spyderco Kiwi. A modern slip joint. And, oh, here's a good one. Here it is. The Cold Steel Micro Recon 1. So it's a tiny knife. Tiny and capable. There you go. All right. Did all that work for you, and now I'm just going to take it away. It's like cool hand loop. So let me give you a little close-up shot of this gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And uh, if you can find them, I highly recommend you get one. I see they also have uh, brought out the six in a jack pattern. Uh, it says it has a tiny uh, pen blade, or a tiny spear point blade, and then a tinier pen blade. And I can't imagine what that's going to look like. I guess, whoops, it's so small it just kind of fell out of my, flew out of my hand. It'll look like this maybe. I have a tiny little pin blade like this. Anyway, you get the idea. Great Eastern Cutlery, number six, Pemberton, in muslin micarta. Exquisite knife, great little, great little knife to have in your pocket, great little knife to hand down to the granddaughter or what have you. All right, y'all. Have a good one.